and welcome to Add More Zest. My name is Rebecca, also known as Four Kids at 147, and I'm happy to share with you today some goodies from Fan Cells. So this video is sponsored by them. So we're going to start with one of the smaller ones. I can't remember, as always, what is in each one. But let's have a little look-see. I will, of course, pop links to all of these down below. Oh, first one is a 30 by 40 robot. I thought it would be fun to have some stuff that's it's not not girly, but not you know. We'll 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 do for all the people in our lives and I thought this one was a bit of fun there's actually no 310 in this one there is 23 colours they do have DMC numbers a lot of the background is a mixture of 939 and 823 with a little scattering of 3750 so if you have a look this is probably the biggest block of background but as soon as you go here, there's a load of the W mixed in and, and the B, uh, sorry, the B mixed in with the W and the zero. It's the same sort of down here. And then down here, there's little scatterings. So I'd say that's the biggest block of 939 at the top. And then there gets to be a scattering of color. And then of course, when it gets to the robot, you get more so it's down as a 30 by 40 which is a, because this is a poured glue canvas a lot of the poured glue companies the, the actual drill area is smaller so it is just short of 25 by about 34 and a half is your actual drill area but they all look clear they use black or and or white symbols depending on how dark the background is. You do get a toolkit with some baggies and these are the colours. So we have some darker purples and greys but then we have some nice brighter purples as well. It's just like this splattering of bright colours and then of course we do have quite a bit of dark blue for the background more spatterings for shading there's your 939 they are all 939 so you get three bags they're not jam-packed there is there is air room in them but there is three bags then we've got some more brighter colors and then there's some of the other blue that makes up the background and some of the lighter colors as well so it is a solid background or solid-ish background should I say it's not completely solid um, but I do find it's I do think it's got enough of different colors scattered in to make it not feel too blocky but I do sometimes think a nice dark background makes that image ever so striking makes it pop number two we have what do we have oh this way so we're going this way this one's a little bit more pink it's again it's down as a 30 by 40 it has 23 colors as well but a little bit of a different 23 colors uh, there's still no 310 they do come with DMC numbers and it does come with a toolkit. The actual drill area for this one is 35 by about just over 24 and a half centimetres. The background is a lot more mixed colours. On this one, so we've got I, J and L. It's a bit more of a watercolory type background and then down here we've got you and then we've got of course all these gorgeous blues pinks purples to make up the butterfly so 
though to show you the colours in this one. So we've got some reds and some greys, gorgeous purples and pinks, a little bit of a darker blue, nice scattering of colours. Quite a few of that one, which is 963. Then we've got quite a few of these pinks as well. So these look to be the background sort of colours. Then we've got some really nice blues and some purples. And then we've got some more pinky purples, blues and a little pop of white. So yeah, I don't think that one is too, too boring on the colours, if that's the right word to use. I don't always think boring is the right way, word to use because, you know, diamond painting is just fun in general and it can just be entertaining. I do think it's nice when you've got a background that is, you know, a lot of a colour that there is every now and then just a scattering of other colours um, just to break things up ever so slightly. And then, last but not least, I think this might be an off the canvas type item. It is. This is a little bit different in the fact that these are Christmas window stickers. So it might look like there's a lot of white, but there's actually not. So we have, so you can see there, that's the design that you can make out of all of these stickers. So the first lot of stickers are just baubles. Some of these baubles have string or the looks of string attached, which are the ones that go up and down because there are different lengths. Then you have some separate baubles. But then we have a Christmas tree that we add diamonds to. So there's some diamonds that will go in the middle of this, some diamonds on the candy canes and on the decorations. And then you also get some snowflake stickers, which are probably really hard to see because it's white on white. But believe me, all of this background is individual snowflake stickers. It's like a mixture of the two here. So we then have Santa, uh, the reindeer straps and the reindeer's antlers and the bell that have diamonds on them. These presents and sweets don't, but the heart does and the penguin does. So the penguin has space for diamonds. And then we have another Santa, Father Christmas, with space for diamonds, a snowman and a bunny. And then we have sweets that don't have a space for diamonds. We do get a toolkit. So you've got quite a selection there to either make up this scene, which you can do and copy that exactly, or you can make it fit your windows. And then the diamonds that go on, there are numbers on them all Apart from, so if we have a look at Santa, apart from this one that's empty here, this one is the number one, so that is the silver. But then we have numbers on the rest. So we have red and green, yellow, we have a little bit of purple. I think that's on the tree. Then we have some big stars. We have some black diamonds, red, yellow and blue which again those bigger ones I'm having a look here the bigger ones are all on the tree so they're all the baubles on the tree Santa has number one number two number four and number seven on him which is the black the yellow is used around the sleigh and around his belt buckle things like that. Then we do have um, some that is, I think that's still supposed to be silver. 
Number three is all on the tree. So the green is all on the tree. I say loads and loads of different ones to use for that. So I think that will be a nice fun little bit of a three dimensional project for your windows. Pick and choose what you want to use and what you want to add. But they all come window window sticker cling ready with extra little sparkle and lots and lots of snowflakes so that is one item then of course we had butterflies and we had our robot proper mix today um, we've got christmas pinky bluey everything going on but i will pop links to them all down below of course if any of these do grab, grab your interest, just click on that link, bob it in your basket and have a browse while you're there. That's what I always do. But thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.